Hey everybody, we're back to surf fishing Florida. We're back at Ormond Beach. We got about four and a half hours before high tide and it looks pretty good. And she's already got a whiting before I could even get the camera set up. So that's really good news. That means I'm gonna get that shark rod in the water pretty quick. Okay, she's got that whiting before I could even get the camera set up. And uh, I got shark bait and it's going out there. Yeah. And I'm probably gonna have to wait out. I... Were you close by? Yeah, I was close by. Okay, here's the opening up shark bait. I put the centerpiece of the whiting on because I don't think I can wade out. It's gonna be pretty shallow. Same rig as last time, except for that's a three foot, 10 inch, 480 cable with a 10-0 Super Mutu. So the rig is just under 11 feet long total. She's already got a ton of sand fleas just using her hands like she always does. Okay, looks like she's she's got a spot. And uh, toss him up there, we are gonna keep him. Just in case. The surf cam yesterday the Daytona Beach showed it almost completely flat, so I thought maybe I could wait out. As you can see, that's not going to happen. So we just got to wait for the tide to come in so it gets deeper for the sharks. Well, she just had a good bite. And because of that star rod, it's so soft that that little whiting, <laughs> I thought that might have been a pompano bite. Okay, two whiting and the, the spot. Did it get off? Okay, it's a dinky whiting. Yep. Take him off and let him go and show him how far you're casting. Man, that, that thing wasn't even out there three feet. She's using a mixture of sand fleas and fish bites. And I don't know, if you, that's about what she did last time. I was getting on her, said it's too shallow. It's probably on the embankment. Sometimes she catches the huge whiting up that close, so we'll see. We're on. Who's on? I don't know what it is. It might be Ray. Yeah, you might be Ray. Hold on. Because yeah, Ray. Okay, she says a Ray. Let me see. Tighten it, tighten it more. Okay. Okay, we're going to assume this is a ray. Yeah, because no head shake. No head shake. And I think it's a fairly big one. So we treat these a little different. I'll have her walk on it. She said it's definitely a ray.
I don't think he's huge. Yeah, he's right there. I don't think he's a huge one. I think he's a small one. Okay. Hold on, hold on. That's a small one. Yeah. Okay, what I do is I flip them over with my hand. Watch the keep it tight. I thought he was bigger than that, but I knew he wasn't big. Okay, there you go. You don't know this time of the year you gotta watch for the 100 pound tarpon, so I'll let things run a little more than I normally would. We'll take whatever we can get. Okay, well, we've been here exactly three hours. We got three whiting to spot. And the little stingray. She's down there catching the sand fleas again. We got two hours before high tide. And I, I was worried about the rain. And I think we're going to be in good shape. So we might stay a little bit longer. It's definitely deep enough out there now that we can hook the big black tip. We're a little rusty, and it shows on that stingray. We didn't film that that good. Try to do better. Well, we haven't caught anything in about an hour, and okay. Uh, Go ahead and let it go because I got another whiting that size and I got the spot. We haven't caught nothing, maybe an hour and a half. Okay, so four whiting the spot and the stingray. We got about 45 minutes to high tide. It's kind of flattened out. You seen this morning, it was kind of, I wouldn't say it rough, but there were some waves. I got it. Okay, you see. Probably another little whitey. But they're starting to bite now, so. Yeah, another little wide. Let him go. Top hook. I think the other one was on the top hook, too. So he's using the sand perch rig with the orange, pink, and white fish bites and the sand fleets. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but about 75 yards out, that looks like about a 10 or 12 foot hammerhead shark. I've never seen anything that big this close to the beach. It's probably not gonna show up on the camera. All right, well, she caught the biggest whiting of the day and uh, we're wrapping it up at six whiting, a spot and a small stingray. We might have a few minutes left with the shark rod out as we start to do a put away, maybe we get lucky. Other than that, we're getting out of here. Wow, we're getting ready to go and they're biting. And that's a nice size whiting. The last two have been the biggest of the day. They're not giant ones, but. 
Yeah, take him off. Is that six or seven whiting now? Uh, seven. Okay. See, what she does a lot during the day is she'll hold the rod. So when you're using this, you know, little eight foot rods with the little 4000 series reels, you can hold them. And that's what she does a lot of the time. Thanks for watching.